Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and quick review of the ProTag. This is a loss prevention smart tag that uses Bluetooth to connect onto the device and it can be inserted onto a wallet or onto your luggage for easier tracking of your belongings um, and also to know if your phone has been lost since it will ring an alarm using the app that you can download for free and it also offers quote GPS tracking but it really just uses the phone's built-in GPS uh, to kind of uh, find your, your belongings if it's in close proximity with you at all times since it's going to be in your wallet and of course your phone will probably also be in your pocket. Um, it works fairly well. It's a low-cost tracker that sells on Amazon for sub $15. It's packaged pretty well and a lot of these smart wallet type of trackers are getting pretty popular. We've seen quite a few now that try to take on the same form factor and design. So you can use it for a number of different purposes and you can see it uses Bluetooth which means that it has a connection range of 10 meters or 33 feet. Pretty easy to scan and to use uh, you know when you connect it using the companion app. Seems like the app will only work with Android at the moment. This, I don't see any scanning codes for uh, iOS, so probably not for iPhones for this specific model. All right, so inside there is just the card itself, which uh, is extremely thin. We'll take a closer look at this in a moment. Below here. There's a quick start guide that tells you how to sync it up using Bluetooth, uh, download ProTag on the Google Play Store, sign up with your account information for the first time, and then afterwards you can set up the various features by going through that. Taking a look at the design of the ProTag first, it's a very slim build that's made entirely out of plastic, a little bit flimsy, but it is as thin as uh, probably two credit cards stacked on top of each other. Definitely fits into wallets without any problems. Has a matte finish that doesn't attract that much fingerprints. The side of the unit features access to an LED indicator, so it will glow when it's charging and stop when it's uh, finished charging. So it does use a rechargeable battery as opposed to a replaceable one, which is nice. There's also controls for for turning the unit on and tapping on it for a few seconds to enter the pairing mode and also tapping it once uh, to set the distance as well as to locate the phone once you have everything paired. The back just features the company's logo, the same textured material, and you'll notice that it doesn't use a micro USB port for charging. It simply slides out into a full-sized USB port, which I think is a pretty clever design and it's easy to use with any standard power bank. So as a quick demo, of how it works when it's charging, you just plug it into the port here and then turn on the power bank and it's gonna work. Um, it will fully charge up in under you know, an hour and a half, so it's pretty fast as far as charging is concerned. And the fact that you can rechar recharge it and reuse it is uh, again, pretty good when you are taking it with you. Um, so while it's charging, let's do a quick look at the app, which is simply called ProTag. So when you turn it on, peace of mind on the go, it's going to try to register and connect to the ProTag for the first time. So let's sign up and create an account. After entering an email and a password, it's going to tell you successful and you have to activate the account by going into your email and clicking on the link that they send you. There's a quick tutorial that pops up, so let's just take a quick look at what this does. Um, it tells me to add like a location for the tag so I can assign it to maybe my bag, um, a purse, or into a wallet, whatever location you want to pop it into, or maybe even a car. So it's pretty easy to use. I can rename it, take a look at all these options, luggage, wallet, others. I'm just going to leave it as bag and then protag type um, you know there seems to be three models um, and also certain zones that you can set up um, in terms of you know, where you are connected to the phone so that it has access to the internet and gps pairing instructions next hold down the power button until the led blinks red and blue step two is to press next so let's take a look at that uh, the, the power on led is this one so i'm going to hold on this for a few seconds and afterwards you tap to pair and uh, then it just displays it in this map-like view depending on where your phone's GPS is turned on or off uh, to tell you, you know, where exactly the wallet or the back you've just assigned is. There's also a battery status to tell you how much battery is, is left. So it's a pretty smart indicator of that. So it tells you, you know, where they are, my valuables. Um, you can also sign out of your account. And other things you can do is tap on a specific uh, pro tag that you just uh, added, and then you can change the profile, such as you know changing the name, the purpose, the radar. So after it leaves a certain range or is disconnected from Bluetooth, it's going to buzz or give you a notification that your bag has probably been lost or you've forgotten it. And of course, you can also delete the tag if you no longer want it. And again, see it in a more list view when it's been last seen and whether or not it's online, connected, or in a Wi-Fi zone, stuff like that. So it's pretty easy to use. And then there's also distance tracker, which is a little iffy since it uses Bluetooth, um, but again, as long as you're within that uh, 
10 meter range, it does work pretty well within a certain uh, place. So this, some of these things like SIM card change not notifications, some of these uh, settings are not going to work uh, for the ProTag uh, G1 and the Lite, which is really the version that we have here. They have some newer versions from this company that uses a real-time GPS locator and a SIM card, but that's not supported on this model. So basically their app works with all of their products, um, but you just kind of have to find which functions within the app can support the version of the ProTac that you have. And this is the most common one, I think, is also the least expensive that you can pick up on Amazon for under uh, $7. So it's very inexpensive for a, a pretty well-designed tracker. The biggest disappointment that I had in some quick hands-on testing was the battery performance. I charged it and then I used it. Uh, it seemed connected to my device just fine. But after uh, about a two days it ran out of power so I had to recharge it again. That seems to be pretty short battery performance and it's fine if you're on a short-term vacation or you're just going to the airport but for longer flights and for longer vacations always having to charge it doesn't seem to be super convenient. It does have a 350 milliamp hour capacity battery but it probably drains faster since it's using the older Bluetooth 2.0 as opposed to 4.0 technology that's more energy efficient. I also wish that there were some more sensors on the ProTag such as a loudspeaker or a click key that I can tap on to maybe ring an alarm physically on here, um, but that's not present. Um, overall, this is not a novel product category. We've seen smart trackers and smart Bluetooth devices for a long, long time now, and this is a very saturated and competitive market, but ProTag is one of the only ones that I've seen that puts it into a credit card form factor and makes sense if you are carrying a wallet, um, you know, as opposed to just a keychain small form factor that's like a pendant. So it could be worthwhile if you're looking looking for a low-cost solution. It doesn't work flawlessly, but uh, while it is charged and it is connected, it does do what it's supposed to do. You can check out more details about the ProTag G1 in our official written review, but for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.